it is day one of renovations and we're gonna tackle the kitchen. We are installing the dishwasher. I am so excited. This silver, wonderful, stainless looking thing. I have been looking forward to this for so long. And Zach is doing an amazing job. He is my rock star. We scored this dishwasher and we're kinda crossing our fingers and hoping it works. Cause if it doesn't work, then we really have to find another dishwasher cause we have this gaping hole in our cabinets. But we picked this up from a uh, a local guy, well he fixes appliances and he sells used appliances. So we picked this up from him for $100. So fingers crossed it works. So I have gone ahead and taken everything off of the tops of all the cupboards and off the walls and it is all collected here. <laughs> so we've taped off all of the trim and we are ready to fix some holes in the wall over there and any screw holes and stuff like that. And then we're gonna get started on painting. Our kitchen and this hallway space are all gonna be the same color. So we're gonna do both of them at the same time. What a mess. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out if he's like really dedicated or a little bit loony today. He has been out since three o'clock this morning plowing snow for the second day in a row. And he only got three hours of sleep, four hours maybe yesterday. And he's back at it again. So I'm leaning towards loony today or really tired. He's nodding yet. <laughs> Ooh, that is on the counter over here and all of the disaster oh an update on the dishwasher we ran another cycle and we found that it is dripping constantly I'll show you a little drywall patch trick i learned a while ago you got a hole this one's kind of big but um when you don't have any studs or anything to file some drywall okay? <laughs> forgive my voice i'm not feeling terribly well
what I did in case you couldn't see it very well. It's a 12 inch square piece of drywall. The hole is 8 inches square. And flip it over. I've cut the back of the drywall two inches smaller all the way around, so leaving me with an 8 inch square. Um, yeah, this works well if you don't have anything to fasten the mud uh, drywall to. I'll show you. Let's see if it fits. put this gray on I accidentally bought the wrong kind of roller like the ones that were for extra texture but I didn't realize what I had done and so um, I put it in the paint not knowing and I didn't fluff up the, the roller or anything and so all these fibers that were caught in the roller came right off into the wall and I was just the angle that I was on when I was painting I didn't notice until it was dry so before we go ahead and paint with the roller on this wall, I am going to try and sand some of this off and go from there. Like you can kind of see some of where like everything was but the wall is so soft right now so that was a win Cleaning up after a renovation is my favorite part because you get to see everything sort of take form and everything back in its place and you can really see how the space comes together. So we did not have the ability to store all of our stuff in another room so we just had to work around it the entire time. It made this part super satisfying and we were so excited to be finished. So our kitchen has never had curtains and I have been carting this fabric around for almost seven years and I never had a purpose for it but it had kind of a nice lace to it so I thought why not use it. I was able to make six panels for all three windows and I wound up with only like eight inches of leftover material so it was perfect and I love the way that it turned out. Now that we're almost done, let's take you back to the beginning when the kitchen was actually the living room. We do everything on a budget, so this project has been no exception. We laid a new subfloor and tiled it, we built an island and laid out where we wanted all of our cabinets to go. We were originally quoted $9,000 for a few paint grade cupboards uh, and that was more than our whole budget and then some. So we kept looking around and we found these cabinets at a Habitat for Humanity Restore and we bought them, got them home for less than $2,000. I then painted them and got new hardware. 
We built countertops and installed the plumbing for the first time. Uh, we added new lighting and all new trims. It's been about two and a half years since we moved in and the kitchen was our first project. I love how it looks now. The white walls make the blue cabinets really pop and the grey kind of washed it all out so I'm really excited about the new colour. Uh, and we finally figured out where to place everything so that the space flows smoothly. Um, it's been a lot of work getting this finished but I wouldn't have it any other way. Thank you for watching our video and we hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Is that it? Sweet!